Hey, welcome back. The Split Tool in Autodesk Inventor is a powerful tool which serves various purposes in the design and manufacturing process. Some reasons why you might want to use the Split Tool include you can modify part geometry. The Split Tool allows you to divide a solid body into multiple parts or even a surface into multiple sections, enabling you to modify specific areas of your part without affecting the entire model. It also allows you to facilitate manufacturing. Certain manufacturing processes, such as injection molding and casting, require parts to be divided into core and cavity sections. The split tool can be used <clears throat> to create these divisions, ensuring manufacturability. And you can also use it to prepare for prototyping. Splitting a model can make it easier to prototype by breaking down a complex part into simpler sections that can be 3D printed or machined separately, then assembled. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the split tool and give you a couple other guides on ways to use it effectively. So let's just jump right in and see how the split tool works. In this first example, I have a simple model here, <clears throat> a single extrusion, and I've simply turned on the visibility of my XZ plane because I'm going to use that as the split tool. Now, what I can do is I can divide this so that all of these parts divided by that plane are separate surfaces, or I can divide the whole part itself, and I'll show you both ways. Using the split tool up here on the modify panel, it's going to ask me to select my tool first, which I'm going to use as that XZ plane, and then it asks me to select the faces that I want to split. So I could say I want to split that face right there and that face right there, and I could make my way all the way around, or I could leave one off, for example. I could leave that back surface off, but I'm gonna go ahead and select it right there and then choose OK. And you can see what it does when I turn that XZ plane visibility off is now instead of just having one surface on the front here, I actually have two surfaces. Now those surfaces could be used in a bunch of different ways. <clears throat> um, for example, I could come in here and I could, you know, uh, I could put drafts on here. I could, I could delete that surface. You know, there's all the different things that you could do to it, but it's going to see this as two surfaces rather than one. So I'm going to undo that real quick. So I've undone that. The other thing that you can do is you can split this and make two solid bodies out of it. Right now it's just one solid body. If you look over here in the history browser and I expand that, you'll see that there's one solid body called solid one. But if instead I want to have a top and a bottom for whatever reason, I can use the split tool. Again, I will select the tool and then rather than selecting faces, what I'll do is I will choose this button right here and it says, allow me to select the solid or the part. When I choose okay, notice now that my solid bodies over here in the browser have changed from solid body one to solid body two and solid body three. So this upper section is one solid body. The lower section is also one solid body. If I want to look at them one at a time, I can do that. <clears throat> I can say, let's turn off the visibility of solid body two, okay? Or I could turn off the visibility of solid body three. Now, the hard part <clears throat> about this, or maybe the frustrating part is that I cannot just insert um, both of those parts as separate parts into a, an assembly. So if I wanted to insert the bottom part into an assembly and then the top part into assemb an assembly, I can't do that the way it is right now because it sees these as one part file. So in this next portion, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to create two solid bodies from one solid part. And in this case, I'm doing things a little bit differently. <clears throat> I've just got a cube here. It's two inches by two inches by two inches. I drew um, a sketch on the top of it to show you that your, uh, your split plane or your split uh, profile doesn't have to be a straight line. And then I've also got in here, I've got a third sketch. I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, that center line right there, but I'm going to kind of make this even a little bit more complex just for fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to take, and I'm going to sweep this profile along that center line path just to create a really complex profile. So I'll say sweep. My profile is going to be that curve right there. The path itself is going to be that center line that I had indicated. And what I've got it set up to do here is to twist it 180 degrees 
okay and it's going to create a surface you see here right here it's going to create a surface it's creating a surface because i'm choosing to sweep a non closed profile so that's always going to create a surface so i'll choose okay there and you'll see now that basically what i've done is i've taken this s shaped surface and i've kind of twisted it through the object so now what i can do in essence is i can use the split tool and i can make the back and i can make the front and we'll see how that's important in a minute but if i want this to be two parts that i can insert into an assembly i have to first do a save as so i'm going to save this real quick and then i'm going to choose save copy as <clears throat> So over here, I'll say save as, and then save copy as, <clears throat> and I'm going to call it red half. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing here and save as, save copy as, and I'll call this one the white half. So now what I can do is I can come in here and I can open, let's say the red half. Now it looks exactly like the original one that I just created, but I want this back portion to be the red half. So just like I did before, I'm going to use my split tool and I'm gonna select my tool, which is this. And then I, again, I want the solid itself, so I'm gonna say the solid. And then right here, I'm going to use, instead of keep both sides, I'm going to say keep one side. And this little arrow here is pointing towards the side that it's going to get rid of. So it's gonna get the, rid of the half that's in front of me here. So I'll choose okay on that. Notice that it gets rid of that front half. I'm gonna turn just for visibility sake. I'm gonna turn off the visibility of that surface. And I'm going to make this now red. So I'll scroll down here and I'll find the color red right there. And then I'm gonna save this. Okay, so there's my red half. And then I want to do the same thing with the white half. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say, okay, let's open the white half, open that right there. And I'm gonna re repeat that process again. So I'll say split, here's my split tool. The thing that I want to split is the solid itself and I want to get rid of that one. Notice that the arrow is pointing the other direction. So it's gonna get rid of the other direction. I'll say, okay. Again, I will turn off that visibility on my sweep surface or my planar surface. And then I'm going to change the color on this one to white. So I'll just scroll down here and I'll choose white and then save that. And so now we've got two separate parts that we can now put together in an assembly. All right. So I'm going to create an assembly just to kind of finish this whole thing out here. I'll create a standard assembly, create. And the parts that I want to place into this assembly are the red half and the white half. Say open, I will right click and place them grounded at the origin. Because they were both in the original place, That's they're already put together, which is nice for me. So I'm gonna save this <clears throat> as cube one, just to give it a name. And now finally to kind of put the frosting on the cake if you will i'm going to create an assembly file on this now this is a little bonus you didn't pay for this uh, but i'm going to create an assembly on this and show you how this thing would actually come apart so here's my part uh, the assembly right here i'll zoom out a little bit so you can see what we're doing so now as a bonus i'm going to tweak this and take it apart so you could see how this part would actually go together so i'm going to start off by tweaking it I'm gonna say I want to tweak this part right here and I'm gonna move it four inches straight up. So I'll just type in four right there and hit, uh, hit the little check mark saying, okay, that's good. But we know that this thing cannot tweak and move in that direction. By the way, I'm, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off this tweak trail. Um, I'm gonna come in here and say, let's, oops, let's right click on that. And then my tweak trail segment, I'm going to hide that so that we don't see it. But it doesn't just slide in like that, it actually turns as well. So I'm gonna add another tweak to this. I'm gonna pick that part. I'm gonna say I want to rotate it. And, and the way I can show how much I want to rotate it is just, uh, let me move this out of the way real quick. Um, is I want to grab that angle and I'm gonna say I wanna rotate it 360 degrees. 
and say enter. Now, if I just play this right now, it's got my move and my rotate kind of lined up. So if I just say, okay, let's move this, obviously that doesn't work, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna break this down into the two, two separate components. <clears throat> I can do that by just double clicking right here. And you'll see that I've got my move component and then my rotate component. So I can move <clears throat> this lower portion right over to next to those. And at this point I could, you know, kind of like do a control and I can move them around and put them wherever I want. Okay. And <clears throat> that's good like that. So now if I say, okay, let's go back to the beginning, for example, I can say, let's put this thing back together. Or if I want to show you how it comes apart, there it is apart. And I can say, let's take this thing apart and you'll see how it can easily screw apart. So there's, you know, just a little bit something to do. And then from there you can go in and you can, add music and lights and you can make a video of it and that kind of thing so a little bit extra there that you didn't pay for on the split but showing you how you can make one part into two and then create your video